What is going on guys? Today I want to talk about this very cool new product out in the vlog sphere of the planet. <laughs> And it is called the Switch Pod. First, I want to get to the things that I like about it. The, the thing I like about it is that it's curved. It's curved in a vlogging format. So you're holding it and it's like away from you and up. So I like that. I, I like how convenient it is in terms of how, of how skinny it is whenever it's folded up into its like travel slash handheld vlogging format. I like that. I'm all about that. What I'm not really happy is, is that all these vloggers, and I mean, not all these vloggers, there's only like five vloggers that got the Switch Pod early to do a review on it. Coincidentally, they all uploaded the review within like one hour of each other. Not only that, but they also know each other. So it's obvious that this company paid to do the review. Hey, and that's fine. That's all fine by me. I don't see a problem with that whatsoever. Again, where I do see the problem is that all of a sudden, these specific group of people that got the Switch Pod early to do, to do a review on it are now bashing the Joby Gorilla Pod. This thing is the best. It is, this is better than the Switch Pod in my opinion, and I'll get to that soon. But what I was saying is that now all these vloggers are bashing the Joby Gorilla Pod as if they weren't using them for years before the Joby, I mean, before the, uh, the Switch Pod. The Switch Pod is nothing new. It's just a tripod that's bent. It's a bent tripod. Now, I guess the whole point of it is, is that it's seamless, right? It goes from handheld to a tabletop tripod in a matter of a switch. The thing that I don't understand is that if you watch Peter McKinnon's video on it, he makes it look, you know, he makes it very clear of how that is not good. Like not at all. He tried to demonstrate how seamless it is, how it goes from a handheld, then it goes into tripod mode, like on a, on a tabletop in a matter of like a split second. He does that, but, but there's still one problem. Guys, today we're talking about put it down on the desk. There have been so many times. It sounds like you're loading a shotgun whenever you're switching it open. You, you, you flick your finger or, or do whatever you, you do to make it go open. And then it just, it sounds like ch -ch -ch, and I don't understand that. Like you're still going to have to cut that part out of the video, uh, which kind of takes away from the seamlessness design of it because no one's going to want to hear you every, every single time you put it down and, ch -ch -ch. <laughs> and then no one's going to want to hear that. The Joby, like they made it sound like the Joby has to be perfectly straight. Like the legs, I mean, they're literally doing this. Like they have to like, you know, they're making sure the legs are like, super straight and then like they go on to the, the the second leg and then they're making sure that's super no one does that it doesn't matter if the legs are straight or not you can you can you can put the joby down like this take the ball head do that put the camera on top and it'll still stay on the ground because you got that ball head to fix an angle that the legs are off you don't need the legs to be completely straight to to use the joby on a tabletop fashion. So I'm not really understanding the whole hate for the Gorilla Pod. Yeah, it's not the best, but it's 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 like it's cheaper than the Switch Pod. It's more convenient than the Switch Pod because you can use it in practically anywhere. Like no matter where you are, you can use this thing. But speaking of ball head, the Switch Pod, by the way, am I I'm not gonna say the price yet but it doesn't come with a ball head. So you're gonna have to either take out the Joby ball head, which by the way comes with a little level, so you know this thing's gonna be leveled or not. So that's pretty cool. So you're gonna either need to use the Joby ball head or you buy another ball head. Now let's get to the price of this Switch Pod. What is it, you may ask? It is a hundred bucks. Right now on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, I think it's going for around 60 or $70. I don't really care enough to uh, to make sure, but um, I guess I will leave a link in the description. But it's it's a it's a it's you know it's it's roughly 60 70 bucks whatever it is. But when it comes out, its market like retail price will be a one hundred dollars. That's right. Plus you need a ball head, so now you're making it even larger. 
I just don't understand. I mean, for at least a hundred bucks, at least include a ball head on it because the slightest, the slightest angle change on a ground is going to reflect in the video because you can't correct it with a ball head. So now you're, I mean, I, I don't know. There's so many things wrong with it. Well, I should say there are so many things wrong with it for the price. If, if, if the price was about $50, okay, I, I completely understand that. But let me, let me show you guys something. This is my favorite vlogging tripod slash handheld tripod, whatever, whatever you want to call it. The Manfrotto Pixie. This thing is, is amazing. You press this little button and then you can, you can, you know, it, it, it comes with a built in ball head. Whenever you undo the legs, that's it. That's how long it takes. $15, 15 and it's Manfrotto. It's not like some cheap knockoff. This is Manfrotto. This is high quality right here. Fits in your hand, $15. The switch pod, it's $100. That's the only reason I'm making this video. That's the only reason I'm, I'm crying like a little baby right now. It's $100. If it was 50 bucks and it came with a ball head, all right, $70. If it was $70 retail price with a ball head, now we're talking. But for now, not worth the price whatsoever no one in the comment section can make me change my mind on how the switch pod is better than this thing right here good luck honestly good luck you won't be able to do it anyways this is mark from mark's tech signing out until the next video hopefully soon <laughs> adios